Hello my dear Gemini, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between August 1st and August 15, 2017 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, I used the Legacy of the Divine Tarot by Cyril Marchetti and I will start shuffling your cards and I call the divine with love and light <laughs> and I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And I call the six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Gemini viewers. So I want my dear Gemini to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Uh, so, I also want to take the chance to tell you about the full moon with a partial lunar eclipse. Uh, okay, uh, Ace of Wands and the Star card, so Aquarius and Fire. Uh, you are also an uh, air sign as Aquarius, so um, all the air signs are kind of connected as all the fire signs are connected. And we have now a uh, full moon with a partial lunar eclipse in Aquarius, opposing Sun and Mars in Leo, August 7. So it seems, um, since we had jumpers here, that this will be a significant occasion also for, for you. Uh, moon uh, is about memories, past lives, uh, deep subconscious things that uh, you don't really know about, but you still need to um, suffer the consequences of our karma, our past lives, wound, traumas, things like this. And here you see the star card. So this is about healing, uh, building on the ruins of the past. And this is the Ace of Wands. So Mars and Sun, uh, this is the highest energy card in the whole deck, despite the Sun. Uh, and this is the Sun's rays being magnified to one point. We are actually seeing in a volcano here. Uh, and it's a very destined point uh, because with those, this eclipse season that's coming and we will also have two new moons in, in Leo, uh, this will actually decide um, your life decades, decades to come. So what do you want? Uh, what is it that you want to create in your life? Uh, we will also have a total solar eclipse in Leo on the 21st of August. And that same day, we will uh, also have the second new moon in Leo. So the first uh, were uh, July 20, the 23rd of July. It has recently been when I'm, I'm doing this reading. Ace of Swords, Two of Cups wants to show their face. Um, and the second new moon will be on the 21st of August, the same day after solar eclipse. And this new moon are going to triangling Saturn moving retrograde in Sagittarius and Uranus moving retrograde in Aries. So all three fire signs combined, kind of working together. And nine of swords in the bottom here. Um, so nine of swords, it's about the hermit. Hermit is connected to 18, the moon, one plus eight is nine. Uh, so it's deep deep things that's going to be revealed and, and hopefully resolved because we see the 21 world card here is is coming up um, again and again and we have the seven of cups uh, as well so deep emotional issues being fixed uh, also Mars will be in Leo aligned there with the moon on that day uh, Venus will be <laughs> we have Venus there um, no, we have the uh, Venus will be in Cancer, Cancer, uh, moving into Leo on the 26th uh, and joining there with Mars. So both Venus and Mars will be in Leo for uh, for a while and they will come even closer together, but they will move into other star signs. I think Virgo first. Uh, Mercury will start moving retrograde in Virgo uh, on the 14th of August. And for Gemini, we have Venus moves from Gemini to Cancer uh, August 1st and then into Leo uh, uh, August 26th. And, um, uh, well, Six of Cups. Uh, so it's, a, it's again, it's about healing old wounds, healing the past, healing your childhood, things like this. Uh, moon moves to August uh, 16 to 17 uh, and squaring retrograde. Uh, Uranus in Mercury. Uh, so, Moon squaring Uranus and Mercury. 
uh, here's the king of swords so that's probably you it's usually Aquarius it can be Libra or Gemini as well and um, uh, Uranus is also it's more deep spiritual work and Mercury is communication so maybe you need to start to communicate uh, better uh, to actually come to the bottom of what's going on in, in your life uh, okay so I will just uh, tune in here for a few seconds Okay, so my dear Gemini, this will be your future and this will be your now and this will be your past. So the past is probably July. Uh, with um, it, it can also stretch over longer periods of time, especially if it's major arcana cards that's talking about bigger cycles. doesn't have to be bigger amounts of time, but usually big, uh, big uh, events are taking more time. And here is... Um, the first part of August and um, um, but whenever you see this is probably the exact right time to see it uh, and um, here is your future and and the future will probably be the second half of August uh, 2017 uh, but um, it can be up to three months the future is about destined destiny things that's destined to happen but in the now uh, you can change your future. Uh, so this is why we, we, we deal with tarot. It's because we want to uh, change our destiny or find shortcuts, like find the answers to what it is that we need to learn so we don't have to learn things the hard way. Uh, so this is thing that's destined, but you can change your destiny. You can use your free will to, um, to change much of what's going on, not all, everything because we are ruled by the planets <laughs> yes <laughs> here we have the wheel uh, how we are ruled by the planets uh, in this case we see uh, Jupiter uh, oh shit what's going on with Jupiter Jupiter moves direct in Libra square retrograde Pluto in Capricorn the whole month uh, so um, that is a lot with with uh, death with uh, Jupiter also being uh, maybe a little bit judgmental uh, and uh, squaring Venus in Cancer August 13 till 21st opponing Uranus moving retrograde in Aries uh, so um, it's the big planets being involved but also Venus uh, with Jupiter this month uh, but um, I'm of course looking at the wrong I'm looking on August and this is uh, July uh, so anyway, Jupiter is a planet that makes things bigger and the wheel, when the wheel turns, when our destiny, when it comes, when we have put the dice in roll, actually what comes back to us is out of our con control. And that is why we want to be cautious with our own actions. So we actually get back the things that we, we want to see in our lives. Uh, we want to, we are going to reap what we are harvest and the bed that we are made for ourselves is the one that we are going to have to sleep in. Uh, so the wheel is karma. It's about uh, karmic um, rules. It's about law of attraction as well. And um, <clears throat> it's things that's destined. So they're, and they might be repetitive, like coming back in your life, the same pattern over and over again until you are being able to solve it. Uh, sometimes the wheel is a very, very good card be because uh, it can break old, uh, old routines. It can break old patterns. If you have been in a bad situation and, and you're getting more and more and more and more restrained, uh, actually synchronicity and the wheel of fortune can actually help you to break this situation and, and uh, just change it like a revolution. Uh, so it can be very fortunate with the wheel of fortune. And it's number 10. The next card is the Page of Wands. Uh, so uh, the Page of Wands might uh, be you, uh, like a fiery revolutionary energy that wants to change. So revolution kind of twice, and it's, um, it's actually um, supported by the divine. Uh, so something that you are doing that's not following all tradition, that's not following your family's uh, tradition or or uh, not following the pattern in which you have been brought up to or your patterns of your life. For example, if you have been 
um, a drug addict, we can take it this far, or a criminal person, this might really change here. You have the, the chance to, to roll the dice again and do your life like in a total different way. Uh, patron wants might also be an outside force um, coming in and um, um, making action in your life in some some way. The page of wands is very, very fiery. It's uh, very my way and the highway kind of thing. So it might have been persons or a situation that have kind of brought you to an uh, ultimatum. You needed to put an ultimatum to one person or they uh, did this to you. Uh, it's those situations where uh, it's either go with or or not no no con like not going with this at all and here you have a beautiful ace of cups so it might be that by miracle some um some message has come true to you it might be a gift that's coming true to you uh, the wheel has changed uh, the synchronicity might have brought like a new person to you uh, the page of wands is is very lively it's uh, uh, like this longing that you might have ha might have to meet other people and to connect and um, uh, it's a very lucky strike actually it's something that has been uh, given or you have been giving something to someone it's it's anyway it's a very positive situation it's kind of a chance it's like an um, embryo or something really new really pristine that has come into your life by a miracle uh, by synchronicity, by divine working in your favors or the planets working in your favor. Uh, the next card is the temperance card. So this energy is something that's um, kind of not like you at all. It might have similarities. Uh, it, you might have like feel this little bit of soulmate connection. Uh, but there's things with this person or this situation or this chance that's going to make to bring new experience into your life something new and, and magical and it has definitely something to do with your soul uh, because the page of wands um, is kind of your messages from your soul inspiration that comes from your soul longing that makes you go uh, to the in that path that your soul wants you to go and then we see the big uh, roof ceiling here and how the sun comes in the soul and fire being mixed together with water fire being mixed together with water very passionate as well uh, the 14 temperance card is the second card for love in the major arcana card we have um, a suit we have first the lovers when when you meet and the temperance card is when uh when we usually say in the fair tales and then they lived happily ever after but here it's uh, and then they the, the big work began with uh, mirroring each other and and learning this new language that the other person has and and their habits and um kind of adjusting so they will like you and you will like them. Uh, so it seems very romantic, but this energy is very, uh, it's very revolutionary. It's not uh, the most tame energy. So it, this person might come in with like an ultimatum or they need to be treated in a way that's uh, very specific if you want to keep them in your life. Uh, the next card is the Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups again, talking about this offer. This is the Holy Grail and this Knight of Cups is the one that serves for the Holy Grail. Uh, so this might be you feeling very romantic. It might also be that this uh, message that coming in is from a water person. It might be um, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Yeah. Knight of Cups is not only like a star sign. It's... it's um, uh, it's ro romance. It's uh, wanting to have a relationship or a romantic connection, uh, feeling very romantic, reaching out, trying to to get two people to come together. Uh, it might be saying I'm sorry as well. This Knight of Cups doesn't have like a problem to say that they're sorry because romance and, and connection is very important to them. Uh, so it comes easy because it's so little to sacrifice to have something so beautiful. Uh, the Knight of Cups is therefore a very, uh, like, um, beautiful and a little bit, like, naive energy. Um, uh, uh, energy that's uh, very outgiving and outpouring and um, very romantic. Um, they can also be possessive and jealous, but we don't see this here. Um, okay, so... It seems like a very romantic meeting has been happening for you in July... Uh, something that's very new, very pristine, um, 
for those of you that haven't met someone new, it might be a renewal in a relationship, like an offer being accepted. And also the work that comes with that, not just the, uh, the offers being accepted, but, but everything that comes along with that. Romance is not like a fairy tale. It uh, will be uphill and downhill and roller coaster. Uh, so when you accept a deal like this, you accept uh, true spiritual work as well. It's not just a walk in the park. Uh, uh, thinking about the old, old song, I never promised you a rose garden. <laughs> it was because I saw that one. Uh, I, I picked it up in my garden uh, this morning. Okay, and underneath the wheel we have Four of Swords. So Four of Swords is probably your energy. Maybe you feel overwhelmed. Maybe you think that it's too much. Uh, the changes of destiny, maybe you're not ready to receive this. Uh, Four of Swords is, is uh, energy that's um, uh, not want to take action. Maybe withdrawing, maybe feeling like overwhelmed. Uh, feeling that... Um, <sighs> It's um, it's it's a little bit like um, not wanting the work that comes with this bargain. Uh, so you might hesitate and, and might want to stay in your uh, in the, your old closet is what I'm feeling. But uh, I don't want to judge your life to be an old closet. But this is what's coming. You see this picture. It's like the moon coming through and the person are sleeping. It's They are levitating. We have the raven with a, a kind of message of death. So it's like you're playing dead. Maybe you don't want to be bothered with life in your vampiric state or in your kind of immortal state. Maybe you have found a, a a way to live your life that's not getting you on this roller coaster that's giving you more like an easy life. So you're m maybe hesitating to take in this energy and, and to um, uh, to deal with this uh, romantic offer. Maybe you offered and then withdraw, or maybe they offered something and they then they withdrawn. Uh, they were withdrawn and, and no communication seems to have been going on on what's really happening. So that might be important. Uh, if you are withdrawing from a person that you met, maybe you need to tell them why. Uh, because communication, if you want this person in your future, communication is very crucial. Uh, so I think they can deal with hearing the truth. You don't have to hide if you change your mind. If you don't have the feelings that you had from the beginning, uh, you can... Uh, you can tell them this uh, very frankly, uh, or uh, if um, uh, if you're afraid, you can tell this too. If you're angry with them, you can tell this too. I think it, there's no problem with with sincere communication. The next uh, next card for you is the Five of Cups, and it comes underneath a page of wants so it seems like uh, this person or this offering might be a fire person or a water person might be very disappointed by your withdrawal or you will be very disappointed with their with withdrawal um five of cups is feeling like okay so uh <clears throat> now i feel disappointed again and maybe this is what you want to avoid uh, and and therefore maybe the other person is getting this energy instead uh, so uh, and this might be how you feel also if you are the one being in the dark closet and not really communicating and maybe you're hiding how you really feel. Maybe you, you don't want to be exposed. Um, it can be like this when, when we have um, not been dealing uh, with our relationships uh, in a good way or in a open-hearted way or we haven't had the chance to really work our relationship issues through when we actually every time we come into a relationship we will feel the pain the old pain that was stored there from other relationships so this might have been coming up uh, for you right now that when you are in this love relationship situation again uh, old feelings are coming up that has really nothing to do with the current relationship but it's still so real and it is real so give it attention and and but try to explain yourself if you are the one feeling like this uh, because nothing seems to have happened that really made uh, made you turn like this or made them turn like this uh, but it's probably something deeper and something emotional something stored with the moon with with your 
subconscious knowing. So your body might feel like this is a really terrible, threatening situation. Someone loves me. Someone wants my attention. Someone wants to be with me. I'm scared to death here. I know what this means. This means my my immortal state is over or I'm going to go back with those emotions that I don't want to have. Uh, so this is the real deal. This is something that really feels hard. Uh, so don't um, don't try to make yourself act in a way uh, that seems normal. Uh, more try to communicate how you really feel. That might be very, you might think that it's very unnormal, but I think if, if a person really uh, are interested in you, uh, they are going to uh, be able to understand whatever you are going through. Uh, and they want to be with you, not the not the uh, face, like a face or a mask that's not really you. You need to show your authentic self. Um, it's um, both good and bad things that we have in our life. So we can't just show people our good sides and hide the bad sides. Uh, we need to be authentic if the relationship is going to have a chance. Uh, so the next card is Ten of Swords. So it seems like this new thing ended as fast as it begun. And uh, it, it seems to have something to do with big disappointed being. Um, maybe you don't feel loved or maybe you don't get the attention that you want or old feelings are coming up to, to haunt you. Uh, so... <laughs> It doesn't seem like it really have happened something bad. It's more like your thoughts about the situation is making you feel bad. Uh, what's going on like in your head that you're not sharing with other people is what's making the situation bad. So really when we fear something, we often end up creating this because we become, when we are fearful, we become, become hostile and we withdraw and, and, and we act like we don't care. And then the other person is going to think, well, they didn't care, so to hell with them. Uh, and, and that was a very short fairy tale story. It didn't it really start it before it ended, but it started very beautiful anyway, so. Uh, I think you will have a good memory. Um, okay, and then we have uh, the Queen of Swords. So that's probably you. It comes underneath the Temperance that's talking about the soulmate. It might, of course, also be uh, a Libra. It might be a Libra person in your life, also an Aquarius, another Gemini maybe. Um, so it comes under the Temperance uh, Queen of Swords. So we have like three people here or... Uh, two people with two different faces. One that's uh, very romantic and the other side uh, being very careful, judgmental, withdrawn. We see this person is kind of living uh, in the bottom of, of uh, a castle maybe, in the in the basement. And, and still they have this beautiful antenna uh, very much spread out to have contact with the divine. Uh, so this person is a little bit a loner a little bit like withdrawn from people because they don't want to uh, feel they don't want to feel judged in the way they are judging other people and they don't want to tell the truth because they think they are going to be judged so it's a lot of with this like how other people are going to uh, to judge you but if you are if you would be more truthful because the queen of swords knows the truth so if you share the truth uh, uh, you might actually get healing and understanding uh, so I don't think that people are that's authentic would uh, withdraw from a situation where a person were very honest with what they are feeling or how afraid they are uh, so don't try to be perfect try, try to be authentic and the next card is two of swords so it's um, it's not no continuation of this relationship it's it will be silent treatment no dialogue people hide behind hiding behind their masks uh, keeping the veil on here it actually fell for a little while because you fell in love uh, and that was actually a key because uh, when you fell in love you actually got the key to the well of all your emotions that have been stored there the holy grail that you're searching for and if you would have been brave and gone in there and just felt your feeling and communicated them, uh, that would actually have helped. 
uh, for some of you, Gemini, you will be dealing with a person that's acting like this. You won't be that person. You know yourself. I'm not judging you, okay? Uh, you know who, who you are and, uh, and who you are not in this reading. Uh, so anyway, this person really need to connect with their heart. Here the veil is falling, here the veil is back on again because they, they, this person uses their old survival skill in, in how they are in their core. It's easy for them to, to rise above or, or just not just ignore this situation. So uh, deciding that, okay, so that was over. Um, I think there was some little thing that might have tripped this. A situation just one phone call that wasn't answered or a person saying one word that were interpreted the wrong way so this is usually the case misunderstanding is building up to something that's uh, going to change your destiny and your life but here I'm telling you so for those recognizing yourself in this situation um, and and being the, the one that's holding back you really have the key here because it's you holding back that destroys everything it's not uh, the one that reaches out because I think with all this love here uh, there will be understanding granted if you would open up so uh, this is a way where you can change your destiny by opening up and telling okay this is how I feel and this person this other person um, will uh, then know what they have to deal with and they can make a decision that's also founded on truth not founded on closing your eyes and not seeing the truth uh, if everyone has the fact that's needed a better decision can be made and two of swords is about making decisions but here you are making decisions with blindfold and mask on so uh, and almost like some uh, protection clothes with with gloves and everything it's almost like made of rubber <laughs> the only thing that's it's the uh, you still have this beautiful connection with your in your uh, with your crown chakra but the moon is is not uh, and the talking is disconnected uh, so this is what's missing this deep uh, deep ocean like how the moon is pulling your waters uh, many people are very fearful of their own inside. It's like the biggest enemy in their lives. They won't even look that way because it's so dangerous. And what is dangerous? You know, when you, you're about to put your hand on the stove, it's really hot. And, and, and by God, you, the last minute you remember, oh it's, oh, it's a hot stove. So you get this fear through your body or someone saying, well, watch out. And this fear rushes through your body. It's just a warning signal. It's not, nothing dangerous. If you feel pain, that's a warning lamp going off. It's not dangerous. It's communication. It's you communicating with yourself. And you are like, oh, this is the most dangerous thing in the world. I won't, I won't look this way. I'm saying you because it's a lot of source. But you don't have to be uh, this person that's uh, uh, shutting down shop here. Uh, as I said before, it can be you that being a victim to this, like a person not wanting to open up because they're so fearful of their own emotion, what's going on inside of them. But the big news is, uh, even if you leave this person uh, that you got this offer from, uh, you will still be there. The things that's inside of you will not go away. They will still be there when you try the next time and the next time and the next time. So maybe it's better to do this now than to postpone it into eternity. So you will never be able to live like a full life and finding the Holy Grail. And as I said, feelings are just communication. It's just be your feedback uh, from, uh, from your body, but also telepathic communication that you have with the divine kind of the moon pulling your water so making you go in a certain direction that's good for you uh, and so pain is good for you it's there to get get you to know what you need to know the facts about how to make a decision what's what's making you happy what's not making you happy but uh, uh, this person ha here hasn't really dealt with a lot of their feelings, so they are very afraid of them. It's like a bear um, pounding on the door and wants to get in, and you're trying to close it as much as you can, so they won't. And if they come in, uh, that's just, uh, it's just in a dream. It's just like, uh, 
uh, it's in your subconscious. So if you dream nightmares uh, during this time, let the bear approach you, let the monster approach you or, or the thief or whatever is going on in your dream and ask them, uh, what do you want? What is it that you want? Because it's probably a part of you that wants to tell you something that has a message for you. And it might be really rational because the body might be very rational. For example, if you don't want to go to that party, you might catch a cold. Uh, so that's how the body helps you to not go to that party. Instead of you just saying like straightforward that I don't want to go. I'm not in the mood. I feel like this. So that would have helped because then your body didn't have to get sick. So you would be able to say no. So truthful communication is better. It's the be best way to help yourself, help your body, help your whole system to be very truthful and authentic, even with very, very hurtful. Because even if they are hurtful, they are still, they are still yours and they are still there. And that's not going to go away because just because you don't, you try to not see it. I'm sorry for my voice. I'm a little bit cold <laughs> and it was not an excuse to, uh, to, to get away from doing the general readings. Uh, <clears throat> it was air conditioned on my plane ride home. So, <clears throat> sorry, the star card. Uh, we had it before it came with the ace of wands. And here we have page of wands. Uh, so page of wands is pure fire, ace of wands is pure fire, and the star card is um, Aquarius. It's healing, <clears throat> sorry, healing. It's building on the ruins of the old. Mm. And um, this is not built like on solid ground. It's built in a swamp. And, and this swamp, you're going to have to deep dive in it to find solid rock bottom where you can build your new foundation, your new life, a better life. Mm? So this, this, sorry, <laughs> this thing that has come to you, it's really come not to scare you to death and make you crawl into your shell and hide out. It came to heal you. Okay, it wanted to heal you. Mm? And it was by divine making, like um, opportunity, a chance. Uh, you see the wheel and the stars. They are trying to get to you. They are trying to get connection with you or this person anyway that's so blocked out. And uh, they want to uh, reach you uh, emotionally. So the best you can do is actually to uh, to roll out the red carpet to your emotions. And, and you have a lot of thoughts here also. Maybe you can start with write down your thoughts and then your thoughts will have made a big tear or traumatized your body because your body doesn't know the difference between what you're thinking and what's actually happening. So a lot of stress hormones will roam around in, in this bodily system that's acting like this. Uh, so when you have write your thoughts down, stay with your body. Feel the most painful place and just stay there. Have a really boring, tedious time and just stay with your body. You can do this also before you go to sleep and have a pen because uh, then you can write everything that's come to mind or how you feel, everything that you feel just uh, without uh, censoring or blocking out things. Just uh, write it down. And, and sometimes when I do this, I also continue writing when I'm asleep. And that's really funny because then it's my subconscious talking directly to me and I get really like great information but it doesn't have to be like this you just write it down and you can also really pinpoint this emotion how it feels where it's located if it has a momentum color form shape use your all five senses and when you have um when you have pinpointed you can also maybe make a drawing out of it and you can ask it question like why are you here what's the truth i'm refusing to see uh what is it uh, uh what is it that I really want you can also ask like following up questions uh, from what the emotion is kind of uh, answering to you so uh, the next card here is of course uh, uh, ace of wands and it comes underneath page of wands so it's no um uh, it's no coincidence here. Page of Wands, Five of Cups, Ace of Wands. I think this um, person that has come in uh, in your life, if, if there's a person, uh, they have uh, emotions. They are able to connect with their emotions. Uh, and they are going to use this uh, the feedback that they get uh, to do 
uh, to do whatever they want. So, uh, so they are going to react very uh, to this situation in a way that's uh, protecting for for them. Um, Ace of Wands. It's like you still have a chance here. Even if you have made this person sad, you still have a chance if you decide to go for healing and for opening up and trying again and taking new chances. Ace of Wands, um, Ace of Cups is two aces, two new beginnings. Uh, this is requiring maturity. Uh, it's requiring growth. It's requiring you to see yourself and really um dive deep into yourself and and this is when you know what you don't want and uh, when you have done this work with going really deep inside your feelings and asking them questions and then answering back and getting to the bottom of what you really think and feel uh, then you will know where to aim your energy in what direction you really want to go instead of letting your emotion that you're trying to block out to decide your destiny because your emotions that's blocked out making you go in this miracle round instead of uh, um, acting very mature on true circumstances you are kind of blindfolding yourself pretending that something that's happening is not really happening and you're missing out on opportunities uh, so you really need to open your eyes here and not let those feelings that you're trying to block out to rule your life. Listen to them uh, because now they are like uh, they are like puddles of water where you don't want to go. So you are uh, you're trying to avoid them and therefore you are very ruled by your feelings in a way that's not healthy at all. Uh, so next card is Nace of Coins. So yes, there's a new beginning here. There's still a chance and uh, there was death first, but there's a new beginning here and a new birth. So you can still you can still fix this. You can still the chance is still there. You haven't destroyed everything by letting your emotions or your inability to face your emotion because they are so da darn dangerous. They are, have not destroyed this opportunity. So it's still there. In the end of August, you will still have this chance. Uh, so you don't have to feel that you you missed out. Uh, it's still there and but it's embryos so it's not it's not something solid it's not something that has already been born it's something that needs to be it's like this egg uh, the fem feminine egg that will be um, uh, it has wandered down to the uterus and it needs to meet uh, sperms like this force of ignition to actually become something to become a new road for you, a new path for you. It won't be anything if if there's no uh, like cooperation or, or ignition. Uh, if you are saying no, the opportunity will go away and, and there will be no new birth here. This wheel, everything that your divine helpers have worked for will be in vain. But this is saying the new chance is still there. Even if you have messed up, even if you were really scared, even if you withdrawn, maybe you used silent treatment, maybe you were very bad on communicating, whatever it is, you still the chance is still there. And here's the hangman. So the hangman is a Uranus. And Uranus, what did I say about that? Uh, it's this with uh, what we saw with Aquarius new moon and uh, no Aquarius full moon with eclipse that it will uh, be connected. No, uh, sorry, it's not that. It's the total um, solar eclipse that will be connected with Uranus moving retrograde in Aries. Uh, so uh, Uranus is when you uh, big, deep spiritual growth. You have the temperance card here, queen of swords. You really need to grow you need to really need to push through here this is like the pregnancy so that's good um, bur um like inception here pregnancy uh, and the pregnancy is hard uh you you need the body needs to change and adapt to new circumstances you need to change you need to sacrifice things that you can't do anymore like smoke or drink or whatever and look yourself in the mirror because you are going to be a parent you are going to birth forth something new a new relationship a new work a uh, new opportunity for yourself and you want to be up to the task so what you need to do is take a good look in the mirror and also it's like a prison here so the divine has caught uh, catched you here uh, there won't be no moving forward until you have solved this uh, so 
things will just be worse from now on if you don't go with this energy instead of going against it because everything you resist it will persist and it's not someone that's out to get you or want you to bend your will again with their will it's nothing like that uh, this is you that have chosen these trials because you wanted to grow as a soul uh, and it's no one that's working against you it's only you working against you you're trying to resist your own feedback system your own body you're trying to not pretend that you're not uh, don't have a body like just being a brain in a in a bowl and, and no body and, and that it's not going to work you need to have your whole feedback system you need to be able to start to listen to the body uh, and here's like the car has flipped. So it's much like the wheel, but more intense energies. Now, it's not only a new chance. It's like you're stuck because of your, uh, it's like you're a runaway risk. And, and the divine has blocked every comfortable exit for you to run. You won't be able to run from yourself. Wherever you run, you will still be there. You will still be you. You will still feel the same. So there's no blocking out those feelings anymore. They are going to just be more and more intense. Um, here, big planet Uranus or Neptune. It's hard to say because they are very much like twins. Uh, okay, and here we have an Eight of Cups. Uh, so Eight of Cups seems like, well, the chance is still there, but you are not going to be able to take it because you are going to be very preoccupied with dealing with your own emotions. Uh, and you don't have really time for a relationship. The relationship or the thing that happened, the chance that was given to you, it was just a trigger. Uh, for you, you will go on and, and going deeper and deeper in the deep ocean diving that I was talking about. Uh, you will be very preoccupied with this. Uh, so there's no saying what will happen to, uh, to this new opportunity because you are, your time is being consumed by you dealing with yourself and your, your deep issues that needs to be dealt with. Uh, so maybe this um, this meeting was just a trigger for you to start to do this work. It was like a honey trap. It wanted you to uh, to start working with yourself and not um, hiding away from yourself. And it's moon in Pisces. You have the moon here and you actually have Pisces there. And and now I've, Neptune is moving retrograde in Pisces. So if this is Neptune and, well, some of you might have aspects with with Pisces or or you can check where, where Neptune and Uranus is uh, so I will take a card for your your past to see a little bit what has been like the trigger for this all this pain that you're hiding surely an old trauma or something that <laughs> that's uh, it's uh, the Mary L Tarot uh, by Mary White I use it as an oracle card um, we have a three of cups here uh, so the Three of Cups is uh, is a rather beautiful situation with abundance. And um, uh, Three of Cups is new growth. It's also, uh, it might be called for to check out your uh, relations with your family because that might be where the the hurt was starting. So it, it might be that your relationships that you have, maybe romantic relationship, is just a reflection of something that being unsolved in your um, more um, family-related relationships. I will actually take a new card for that, but it's like uh, uh, Three of Cups is abundance. It's like a pure new gift has been given to you. Maybe this person is your soulmate. Maybe this is family in some way. Uh, maybe they are from your soul group. And we have a page of disc here that's pure earth. And we have the ace of disc. So um, there's something new that wants to be born into this um, this new opportunity that you have been granted. So it's really, it's like the divine wants you to snap, snap, uh, like deal with this work that you have to be, have to do. Because it's something that you have postponed like too long, maybe eons of time. And now you really need to do it because they want you to, to birth forward this new, new, new. Get ready, do this new. Uh, don't be stuck in this old. Go through it. Just to be very brave, like those um, uh, Arturian knights that just wanted to uh, uh, to um, uh, find the Holy Grail. Uh, you need to be that uh, 
like um, have that that stamina or that uh, energy to go into that okay so this is the future sorry i didn't ask any question uh, the future for for gemini uh, what will happen with this uh, new chance okay so you're trying to use all your old knowledge uh, to know what's going to happen in the future. So that's, of course, going to make your past just repeat itself. So if you don't want to repeat uh, your past in your future, you need to change your ways. You need to do things in a much, it's an, in a new brand way. Uh, so I will read this card for you, uh, the, the 10 here with the book smart person. Uh, it's from the Legacy, no, Oracle of Visions by Ciro Marchetti. So it's the same uh, artist like the Legacy of the Divine here. Uh, okay. Uh, knowledge, research, knowing the facts, being prepared, forewarned. Uh, so this is <laughs> how you want to live your life, being like very forewarned and knowing. So you won't get hurt. But the hurt is not the problem. Uh, you can deal with any hurt if you're a friend with your body, if you're a friend with your biological system. The hurt won't be uh, as uh, uh, painful even because you will know yourself. And when you know yourself, you find that there's only love there in the bottom of you, not dangerous sea creatures. So as the biggest library, if it's in disorder, is not as useful as a small but very well arranged one. So you may accumulate a vast amount of knowledge, but it will be of far less value than a much smaller amount if you have not thought it over for yourself. Uh, so, uh, part of the process of accessing a situation, assessing, sorry, a situation is the use of intuition and uh, physic, psychic, psychic gifts, sorry. Uh, but some circumstances may merit a more analytic approach, being better informed and armed with a, uh, with a greater understanding of the facts and background to any situation might provide a stronger basis from which to make better decisions. Uh, so this is, of course, your analytic way all the time. You're analyzing things uh, to the bones uh, until there's nothing left to analyze because while you were analyzing and withdrawing and pondering, uh, the chance were gone. So you weren't able to uh, to do this. There was no use in all your uh, your. Uh, putting your thoughts into this because um, the chance is gone. Yeah, the time is gone. So I want to take another card to show, to see what can happen if you open up more and being more uh, like uh, diving more deeper in your emotions and not uh, being so calculating, but actually trying to take, to see more the bigger picture, uh, not just being cautious for what can happen to you, but actually living. What can ho happen if Gemini start living? <laughs> okay, so maybe maybe you're dealing with a really a person that you really need to be careful before. Maybe this situation is too much for you to handle. Maybe you feel uh, too big a threat. Maybe this is what you ne really need to work with. See what it is that you are so fearful of. What is it that Gemini is so fearful of? What is it that going to happen if you're not calculating every step of the road? If you're not seeing danger everywhere? What is it that's going to happen? How is this going to affect you? Uh, I feel that you're staying kind of in your comfort zone and you're not coming out to really living. Uh, that you're staying like in a, in a safe, uh, safe zone and not really coming out in there and and meeting life but if life is so threatening maybe it's maybe it's better to stay at home so we'll take a card for that too to be really cautious be really cautious okay um okay here we have the faces the masks uh, so maybe you can't like work around this you are a cautious person and you need to be cautious and and you need to check out why you are so cautious go to the depths of what what it is what you are hiding from what is that so that's the clue. That's the biggest clue. That's the biggest like painting of it all. It, it occupied the whole center of this reading. You being careful. What's that all about? What's your masks all about? What is it that you're trying to protect? Is it you're trying to protect yourself from someone or you're trying to protect yourself from revealing the truth? Uh, do you think that you are a bad person? Do you think that you uh, are this, uh, that people should be careful for, uh, for you? Do you think that, are you judging yourself this hard? Uh, so start to look at yourself, uh, like the person behind the mask. 
start to look at yourself in the mirror. I think that you are going to love what you see. I think you, you, you are going to stop judging yourself and you are going to stop to hide away from the world. Okay, the beautiful uh, dear Gemini, thank you for joining me on this, this journey. Uh, we are doing things simultaneously. I'm, I'm being this person reading from you for you and I'm learning all this stuff uh, also together with you. Okay, so I hope you will be able to join me again uh, in the middle of August for the next reading. Bye-bye. <laughs>